Hi guys! This week for Science Week, I thought I would shoot a little demo for a super fun project that some of our students have already had the opportunity to do at school, but you can easily do from home. What we're going to do today is leaf printing. We've got some samples here on some different types of paper, some lined paper, some small drawing paper, a larger drawing paper, and even some recycled printer paper. So you can use any kind of paper you have in the house. The next thing you're going to need are either some basic watercolor paints or any kind of marker. Actually, a Crayola would be better, but I don't have any in the house. Then you're gonna have to take an adventure outside and find some leaves. It's nice if you can find some big ones, some small ones, different sizes and shapes. This one kind of looks like a little dinosaur foot. And the more veins that they have on them, the more texture that there is, the better your prints will show up. If the leaf is really smooth, you're not necessarily gonna get a lot of exciting details. You can collect a lot of leaves or even just one. When you bring your leaves back into the house, you're going to need some kind of container water and a brush if you're using paint or um, just your marker if you're using marker. So I've got my papers at the ready. Uh, I'm gonna grab this yellow note paper and let's give it a go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my leaf and move my paper slightly out of the way. And I want to make sure that I'm using just a tiny amount of paint and water. Otherwise, it's not going to show up very well if your leaf is really, really wet. You're just gonna kinda get a puddle. Now this can get a little messy, so you wanna make sure that you are on a work surface that it's okay to get dirty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my leaf paint side down and press. If I'm using marker, let me get a dry leaf for marker. Markers won't work really well on a wet leaf. If I'm using marker, I'm gonna do the same, oops, ripped in. The same thing. I'm gonna dab some marker on. My marker is a little tough. And then I'm also going to dab a little water to get that paint, the ink inside of the marker moving around. And I'm gonna go ahead and flop him over. Mm, he was a bit of a flop. I think my markers are too hard, but Crayola markers, if you have them at home, would be a great alternative to paint. And you can use your finger or a paintbrush to add a little water to your leaf after you put the marker on. So I'm gonna do this guy again, because he is so cool with another color. You can switch your colors. You can switch your leaves. You can put as many or as few as you would like and they come out different and cool every single time. It's a whole lot of fun. You can make a whole bunch, you can make just one. I encourage everybody to go ahead and give it a try. Enjoy.